Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I'm going to tackle one of the age-old questions in preparedness today over my coffee. And that is skills versus stuff. Hear about a lot. You put in uh, in the search bar, you put in, uh, you know, top 10 prepping skills or top 10 things to prep. You're going to get a whole list of videos on those topics. But there's one thing in most of the videos that I've ever watched that they don't touch base on, and uh, it goes a little bit against the conventional wisdom. The conventional wisdom is that skills trump stuff, and to a certain extent that's true. And a lot of that goes back to, I think so anyway, a lot of that goes back to the late Morris Kohansky, who was a survival instructor and uh, up in uh, Canada, and uh, Morris Kohansky had a saying that the more you know, the less you carry. And that's where I think a lot of um, the modern conventional wisdom comes from. And in his instance, being out in the woods and in the wilderness and stuff, that is a lot of that is true. Um, if you know how to utilize your environment, you can, um, you can improvise a lot of stuff and you can make a lot of stuff. And that is sort of how he went about, you know, in teaching his his survival classes. Um, but a lot of people live in a different environment. And, you know, most of, most of us live in some type of, uh, you know, modern environment where we're in, you know, towns or cities or whatever. And uh, there is a very simple thing um, that I use as basically a barometer on that skills versus stuff thing of how I prep. And basically what that is is... is um, can I make it? Can I improvise it? Can I make this item or can't I? And if I can't make this item and it's something through precedent of my own experience that I'm going to use or need, that's something that I'm going to a stockpile. And then that gets a little bit what's valuable and what isn't valuable if the world you know, goes sideways. Um, you want to know what's valuable? Go back to 2020 at the beginning of the pandemic. Remember what the stores looked like, what people bought and what people didn't buy. That's a little bit of a you know modern experience of what is valuable and what isn't valuable. Now, I'm actually going to use um, something here as an example. Um, I got a lot of uh, skill when it comes to different things, but there's certain things I can't make. And right here is one of them. This is a brake pad for my old beater truck that you guys have seen in uh, my videos. I can't make this. Have I had uh, different times where the brakes went out and started grinding in my vehicle? Yes, lots of times. I can't make this. I might know how to do a brake job on a vehicle, but if I can't get this particular part, I can't fix that. So even though I have skill as a mechanic in fixing my brakes, if I can't get this part, I'm dead in the water. I, I can't fix that. Now, I might be able to take something that's similar to this or similar vehicle or whatever, and I might be able to grind some of this stuff off so it fits that particular you know, caliper that goes on that. But I still can't make this. I can't physically make this brake pad. So that's something. I've seen this go up before. I can't make this, so this is something I have a spare at the house here for. So don't have a lot of them. You know, I don't have a six-month supply of brake pads, but I have a set of brake pads here to fix that vehicle. Now, that's just one example, and there's a multiple examples that you can take from that. There are certain things um, that you can do and you can make. You can garden, you can can, um, but there's but you can't make those jars. Those jars, those mason jars, you can't make those. You have to have those. So then those are some things, those are your sort of your hard goods that you want to keep on hand so you can utilize the other stuff that you find and that you can forage and grow and manufacture whatever yourself. And uh, that is one of the big caveats between the skills versus stuff thing. There's all kinds of um, things that you can prep and uh, that's part of the reason I do a lot of videos on how to process raw agricultural products. Um, sometimes raw agricultural products are easier to find than the actual processed items. So then if you can process those raw products yourself, your raw wheat, your raw corn, your raw beans, you can process that stuff yourself. 
that gives you a certain amount of skill where you can expand um, your preparedness. Hey, this right here, not everybody can uh, prep this, but I know how to prep this. So then I'm going to go ahead and take this and prep this and I can add this to my, you know, my stockpile or whatever it is. But that is um, sort of my take on the skills versus stuff. If uh, you want to stockpile stuff, you want to look at your you know your experience your situation what are things that I can't make and I can't um, do you know I can't fix this if I don't have this so then I want to go ahead and I want to stockpile that here's another good example this right here this is a uh, spark plug for my generator now I can make electricity if I have my generator running I know probably 10 different places where I can get fuel for my generator, both what you would call in within the system and outside of the system, I can get fuel for my generator. I only know probably two places where I can get this for my generator. So I want to keep this on hand. Have I seen these porcelain tops of these break off? Yes, I have. I've seen spark plugs break off. If this is broken off, I've got no way that I can synthesize this. I can't make one of these. So I have to keep this on hand so I can continue to make electricity. So those kind of things are sort of what I'm getting at. You know, you can, uh, you can have a lot of skills and you can uh, gain skills, but at some point you're still going to need something to you know, you're going to, you you can't can nothing. You have to be able to grow something. So, yep, I can grow tomatoes, but if I don't have the jars to put those tomatoes into can, I can't preserve them. And on the flip side of the coin, hey, you know what? I can grow tomatoes and I can can tomatoes. I really don't need to take the space in my pantry to go buy a bunch of canned tomatoes put in here because I can grow and I can can them. I can reserve that space in my pantry for something else that I can't, um, that I can't grow or that I can't uh, make and put in. So then that's sort of the fine line between the, um, the stuff and the uh, skills. So it's a balancing act. There is, uh, there is merit to both sides of the uh, equation, both the uh, skills and the stuff. So look at your own situation and analyze it. And like I said, this isn't uh, to tell anybody specifically what to do, but this is how I look at and I separate the skills versus stuff um, eternal debate, so to speak, in uh, in preparedness. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. I appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little something out of this video here, something to think about and something to look at in uh, your own preps um, and how to go about uh, making your uh, preps a little bit more solid if something does happen in the future. Anyway, you guys take care.